Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Due to the two holes, the catamarans remain more resistant to sea waves, having a lower pitching amplitude, and can also have a higher speed. But one of the main advantages of the catamaran is its shallow draft, which allows it to enter shallow water areas and come as close to shore as possible. Today we will show you the 10 most amazing military catamarans in the world. HSV-2 Swift The HSV-2 Swift is a chartered high-speed vessel of the U.S. Navy Military Sealift Command. The hybrid wave-piercing catamaran was designed and built by Bollinger Inkat in Hobart, Tasmania. It was designed to conduct sea basing tests and support transformational mine warfare modular payloads. The HSV has 170 sleeping berths, crew storerooms, and 128 aircraft-style permanent seating and 122 temporary seating, configurable to an additional berthing for 87 people. In 2015, the ship was leased by the United Arab Emirates National Marine Dredging Company and was used to carry aid through Bab al-Mandab Strait. On the 1st of October 2016, the ship was attacked and damaged off the coast of Yemen by Iranian-backed rebel Houthis. The vessel sustained serious damage to its bow, but remained afloat. Sea Shadow the Sea Shadow was an experimental stealth ship built by Lockheed for the United States Navy to determine how a low radar profile might be achieved and to test high-stability hull configurations that have been used in oceanographic ships. The Sea Shadow had a swath, small water plane area twin hull design. Below the water were submerged twin hulls, each with a propeller, aft stabilizer, and inboard hydrofoil. The swath design helped the ship remain stable in rough water up to sea state 6, wave height of 18 feet 5.5 meters or very rough sea. In 2006, the U.S. Navy tried to sell Sea Shadow to the highest bidder. The U.S. government mandated that the buyer not sail the ship and be required to scrap it. The ship was finally sold in 2012. Spearhead The Spearhead-class expeditionary fast transport is United States Navy-led shipbuilding program to provide a platform intended to support users in the Department of the Navy and Department of the Army. The Spearhead is an aluminum twin-hull catamaran shell containing four diesel engines, rudimentary facilities for up to 40 crew members, and 312 airline-style passenger seats, along with an expansive flight deck on the top. The vessel is able to transport U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps company-sized units with their vehicles or can be reconfigured to become a troop transport for an infantry battalion. The Spearhead has a flight deck for helicopters and a load ramp that will allow vehicles to quickly drive on and off the ship. The ramp is suitable for the types of austere piers and key walls common in developing countries. The ship has a shallow draft under 15 feet 4 .6 meters. Sahid Nazeri The Sahid Nazeri is a high-aspect ratio twin-hull vessel operated by the Navy of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps of Iran. The vessel is named after Mohammad Nazeri, the first commander of the IRGCN Marines. It has been referred to as support ship Hearth 55 by the American military intelligence agencies. The vessel is 180 feet 55 meters long with a claimed long-range support capability of 6,200 miles, 10,000 kilometers. With a super-slender aluminum hull, it is capable of carrying some 100 troops and also a helipad for one aircraft. Sahih Nazeri's speed is reportedly 32 miles per hour, 52 kilometers per hour. In April 2017, satellite imagery suggested that Sahih Nazeri was relocated to an operational naval base at the headquarters of 1st Naval Region in Bandar Abbas.
Tuocheng. The Tuocheng class Corvette is a Taiwanese designed class of fast, up to 52 miles per hour, 83 kilometers per hour, and stealthy multi mission Corvettes built for the Republic of China, Taiwan Navy. It is designed to counter the numerous and increasingly sophisticated People's Liberation Army Navy ships by utilizing hit and run tactics and thus featured clean upper structure design with very few extrusions to reduce radar signature, pre-cooled engine exhaust to reduce infrared signature, and a reduced visual signature to reduce chance of detection. The guided missile corvettes can be armed with a range of ammunition including anti-ship missiles, guided munitions, and machine guns. The corvette has a full load displacement of 567 tons and can complement a crew of 41 members. Project 23370 The Project 23370 boats are designed to carry out search and rescue operations at the home stations of the Russian Navy and in open roadsteads as well as in coastal areas. Multifunctional modular boats are universal catamaran-type platforms with a large working area on the main deck and with a set of removable specialized equipment and technical equipment installed on it, including as part of container modules. The versatility of boats is achieved through the use of removable 10 and 20 foot container modules, equipped with various equipment and installed on the deck using standard mounts. Rescue multifunctional boats of this project served on all fleets of the Russian Federation. In total, more than 15 boats of this type were built. Shengong. Taiwan's Coast Guard administration took delivery of a new missile corvette, the Shengong, which will be deployed in eastern Taiwan to protect Taiwan's maritime rights and the interests of local fishermen. The Shengong Hole No. CG602 is its second Anping class corvette. Ships of this class are fitted with Xiong Feng 3 and Xiong Feng 2 anti ship missiles. The Anping class is a class of offshore patrol vessels manufactured by Zhongxin Shipbuilding Company for the Coast Guard Administration of Taiwan. In wartime, they would serve as fast attack craft. They are capable of traveling at over 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. The class is based on the Tuocheng class corvette of the Republic of China Navy, but lacks the 76 mm main gun and has modifications for use in the law enforcement role. Komuna. The Komuna is a submarine salvage ship in service with the Russian Navy Black Sea Fleet. A double-hulled catamaran, she was laid down at the Pultilov factory, now the Kirov factory in St. Petersburg in November 1912 as Volkov. The ship was launched the following year and commissioned on 14th of July 1915. She was renamed Komuna on 31st December 1922. Komuna has served in the Russian Imperial, Soviet, and Russian Federation navies through the Russian Revolution and two world wars. The ship's construction was in fact unique. The special steel used by the Pultilov company means the ship's hull remains in perfect condition, a century after it was launched. The Volkov was not designed to conduct warfare and it had no weapons. The main purpose of this catamaran vessel was to salvage submarines and serve them in open waters. Combat Boat X-18 The Antezina-class combat boat is a combat boat built by North Sea Boats and designed by Lomotion Design for the Indonesian Armed Forces. The manufacturer designed it as Combat Boat X-18 or CBX-18. The X-18 uses a two-hole design with a composite material that is claimed to be 10 times stronger than steel, but 10 times lighter than the same material. This makes the X-18 able to perform agile maneuvers and save fuel. The boat is equipped with a Cockrell 3030 unmanned turret, mounting 30mm autocannon and two 12.7mm machine guns. 
The X-18 is able to carry up to 60 troops, 5 tons of cargo, and is manned by a crew of 5. A drone is integrated with the boat for surveillance and reconnaissance tasks. The boat is intended for use by the Indonesian Army. LCAT The LCAT is a high-speed sea connector for amphibious operations in the areas of military, logistic support, and disaster relief. Highly mobile and maneuverable, the LCAT ship-to-shore high-speed sea connector ensures the rapid projection of tactical units during amphibious operations conducted from NATO well decks. The LCAT interfaces with the other landing crafts. The LCAT can deploy either a fully motorized infantry platoon complete with its vehicles and equipment, a single heavy main battle tank, or 80 tons of military or disaster relief equipment. The ship is in active service since 2011 in the French Navy and since 2016 in the Egyptian Navy. It proves each day its ability to support the armed forces on a global scale for both military and civilian assistance operations. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the vessels you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.